taking a look at this adorable, cute little cartoony game, would you ever think that it's actually filled with dark humor and one of the most adult little adventure games available on handouts? No matter what answer you gave to that question, that's exactly what it is. Part of the Psychotic Adventures series, this is my review of Mecha Nika for the Nintendo Switch. The story of Mecha Nika is centered around a young girl named Nika. She is a genius mechanic and hates the world. Her teacher never teaches her anything, spending too much time glued to her cell phone. Her mom spends her time brainwashed by the TV and never signs her up for the classes that she wants. And her only friend is another young girl named Agatha who has a very odd religion. Note that this is the same Agatha from Psychotic's Agatha Knife. One day she gets so fed up with everything that she just can't take it anymore. She's going to destroy the world and remake it into a place where only cool stuff exists. To go forward with her master plan, she has to collect materials to create Mecha Nika, her own doomsday robot. One thing to note here is that this is a very dark story. There's a lot of crude adult humor as anybody who's played Agatha Knife should be very familiar with. But despite the fact that this story is very in tune with a lot of today's modern cartoons, what I liked the most was the amount of references and homages thrown into this game both in environments and in its story. As I was exploring and going through various cutscenes, I was constantly seeing references to Metal Gear, Gundam, Fear, Call of Duty, and more. In terms of gameplay, Mecha Nika is a basic point and click adventure game. As you go through the game, you're gonna be moving Nika from area to area, along with moving a pointer that you can use to interact with certain NPCs or objects. The way progression works is pretty easy to get a grasp on. When you get past the game's tutorial, you're given a list of components needed to create the Mecha Nika robot. And your task is to collect those components by wandering around town, talking to NPCs, and using items for trade. Pretty simple, right? You wander around an area, pick up items you can, and then you gotta figure out what those items are used for, whether they're components or something you give to someone else to get components. And that right there is where this game becomes kind of like a puzzle game. None of the components in your material list will look exactly like the items that are used for them. They'll look a little similar, but you kind of have to think of what's in my inventory that could be used for this or this or this. And the same goes for the acquisition of items. You can gain items by wandering around and picking them up, but some items you have to actually talk to NPCs for or pull out inventory items to trade or use to get components. For example, you might need to take tools from your bedroom out on the street onto a bike to get its chain to use for one of your components. And as you could guess, it's not that hard to become lost in the game and not know exactly what you're supposed to do. Thankfully, there is a hint mechanic built into the game. Just pop up the backpack menu, drink a little bit out of Nika's special flask, and you'll get hints on what you're supposed to do next. Most of the time, anyways. The thing I don't like about this hint feature is that it works and gives you hints on what you're supposed to do, but only the area you're in or the room you're in. So if you've done almost everything and you don't know where to go, you have to actually find where you need to go before the hint feature will actually give you a hint. And that can lead to a lot of repetition because if you don't know where you're supposed to go, you could effectively go almost everywhere constantly using the hint feature until you eventually find it who knows how long later. I'm not saying that will happen to you, but it may or may not have happened to me when I was going through the game trying to not use a guide. And speaking of the time you'll be spending here, Mecha Nika is one of those very short experiences, as you'd expect for the price point of $5.99. Across my first play through the game, I'd spent about an hour and a half between the intro cutscene getting all of the items I needed and actually getting the game's ending. As such, you're not going to get a ton of time out of this game, even with the lower price point. When it comes to presentation, I don't have a whole lot to complain about. The cartoony style of the game is drawn pretty well. I didn't see any blurring effects or jagged edges on the artwork, and the performance is the same. I never really had any problems with frame drops, freezing, or crashing. So let's go straight to battery life. And Mechanica is the newest game in my list of games where the battery life exceeds the entire playtime of the game. 
Mechanica has a battery range of 4 hours and 46 minutes on high settings, up to 7 hours and 12 minutes on low settings. Despite being a 2D game, I'm always impressed when a Switch title can exceed 7 hours of battery life. Now in conclusion, Mechanica is a cute little adventure game filled with a lot of references and a lot of dark comedy. Now on the downside, the hint mechanic isn't quite as expansive as I would have wanted and the game isn't a very long experience. But if you like dark comedy point and click adventure games and especially finding references to other media in the games you play, this is definitely worth downloading and trekking through. There's not a lot here, but what is here is good stuff. Reviews to Go rates Mecha Nika for the Nintendo Switch an 8.5 out of 10. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below or head to the website at reviewstogo.com. Hey there guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Just want to remind everyone that if my Patreon campaign reaches at least $100 per month, I will remove any and all advertisements and monetization from this channel. That's at patreon.com slash reviews to go. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.